Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Drielli. Today I'm going to be showing you how I'm decorating my travel notebook insert cover. So this is the cover for the month of June. Um, I usually only use one insert per month and um, I include everything that insert. I include my planner as well as my journal. Uh, if you're curious about how I set up my traveler's notebook, I actually have another video that show you guys in details uh, my traveler's notebook set up for 2020. So I will link above here on the screen so you guys can check it out. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start it uh, with the decoration. Um, go ahead and grab your cup of coffee or your cup of tea and uh, the inserts that you want to decorate and let's go ahead and decorate with me uh, so today uh, what I decided to do with that cover was um, to still keep the uh, spring theme um, you know spring barely started here and um, I just thought it would be it's still a good idea to have something uh, that remind me uh, that we're in spring. So instead of uh, uh, getting, you know, a wood stamp or um, a flower sticker, I decided to actually draw myself a wildflower. So that's what I'm doing right there. So the paper that I'm using uh, for this illustration is just a regular craft paper. I got this one at Michael's, I'm pretty sure. Um, I just don't remember how much it was because it was like an entire roller of paper. Um, but yeah, it's just a regular craft paper um, that you use usually for packaging. Um, but yeah, and for the pens that I'm using for this illustration, I'm using my uh, Jelly Roll uh, Sakura pens. Um, I'm using right now the 08 and that's for the thicker lines but you see in a second that i'm going to be switching to the 05 which is a thinner um you know a thinner pen um but yeah and uh, i usually like to uh, usually my illustrations my style has a lot of stippling and hatching so that's why you see there a lot of the you know stippling on the flowers and also the hatching in the um, in the leaves so i thought i would do that i think it's an easier um, illustration to copy and follow along so i hope it, it's you know i made it easier enough that you guys can actually um, just you know copy um, or try to mimic the the same design that I've done there um, it's a very I like to think that's a very simple design um, but yeah so what I'm gonna do now is just first cut the flower just to look a little bit prettier I love fussy cutting um, things so I just thought it would look nicer but yeah how are you guys doing so far um, is this uh, the first video that you watched from here or have you watched any other videos? Are you new to the Traveler's Notebook system or have you done, um, have you drawn uh, using the Traveler's Notebook for a long time? Um, so usually I've been, um, not usually, but I, Lately, I've been using my uh, Traveler's Notebook as my main journal. I used to use a lot of the uh, bullet journal system and I loved that system so much. Uh, but I just, I just love journaling as well. So I don't like to only plan, but also to journal. So I thought that it just didn't it was not the best system to use it as a regular journal as well um, but I was so happy when I found the Traveler's Notebook system because I was able to incorporate both of my passions which is bullet journaling as well as journaling regular journaling with a scrapbooking um, so yeah that's how I got into the Traveler's Notebook and uh, I don't think I'm going back 
uh, I think I finally found my style and um, you know my system the system that actually works for me so let's go back to the video sorry about the rambling <laughs> so what I'm doing there it's uh, I'm actually decided to instead of uh, write it out the month you know of June as for the cover I just decided to actually make a month calendar so that's what I'm doing right now <laughs> right there so I just I can talk today sorry guys so I just grabbed a piece of paper um, from one of my old journals and uh, I like to keep this um, perforated side right there I think it, it brings a little bit of a charm to the um, to you know to the composition uh, so that's just a white paper that I grabbed from an old, old notebook. And if you're curious about the pen that I'm using, this is a Japanese company and the pen's called a pen. I love this pen. It's a very bold uh, black ink pen, but I like it because um, I never had any issues with bleeding with this pen. No matter how thin the paper you use, um, you know, there's no bleeding, so I love it. Um, and this other pen that I'm using right there uh, to edit the dates is just my Sakura Pigma Micron in the number 01. And I just decided to, right there at the end, to remove those uh, pieces of uh, washi tapes. I am going to replace them someplace else, but I, they are just on the way covering the date. So I just thought it was, it was not working, so I just decided to go ahead and uh, move them to the other side. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be my calendar, and uh, I just love washing tapes that you can just move them over and over, and um, you can still reuse them. So what I usually like to do anytime that I am decorating my Traveler's notebook, either the you know if I'm decorating a page in my journal or my cover, I like to bring in all the pieces together of what I'm using and actually kind of place them together to see how they are going to work. Um, so I love doing that. So if you're curious about the papers that I'm using right there, you see that dotted paper on the bottom. That one I got it from the paper pad from the Recollections collection. That is a six by six inches uh, paper pad. And I got that one at Michael's. And I'm pretty sure you can still uh, find that paper pad at Michael's. So what I'm doing right now is just um, making that page um, look a little bit more vintage. So a little bit more yellow. Uh, so I love doing that with my Distress inks. And I got those Distress inks at Michael's as well. They are from the um, Ranger Ink Company and is a Jim, uh, Jim Holtz um, collection. So the yellow one, the first one that I used right there is the Antique Clean Ink. I'm also using the color uh, Vintage Photo and uh, the darker one is the Walnut stain and uh, if you're curious about the tool that i'm using if you're not familiar with that that is just a bleeding tool um, you can just insert those uh, foam uh, pads into that bleeding tool and you can use it to you know to kind of like blend sorry not bleeding tool what i'm talking about blending tool <laughs> I cannot talk today. I'm so sorry, guys. Blending tool. And you can find that one at Michael's as well um, if you are interested in buying that. I love uh, using that tool and the, those Distress ink because I just love so much the vintage look of old um, pages, book pages. So I love doing that. And um, the, the book page there, I just bought that book in a vintage store. Uh, it's an old book that I just bought it for the sake of ripping the pages out so I can use it in my journal. So yeah, so I'm doing right now there is just trying to play around with the items that I want to use to decorate my um, cover. And usually what I do, I take my um, 
cell phone and I take a picture of it just so I can remember I can check back in the picture and see exactly where I'm supposed to be placing every item but yeah that's pretty much it I'm just gonna be gluing this down and the the, um, the glue that I'm using is just this multi-surface glue stick from also the recollections collection and you can find that one at Michael Michaels it's just a normal glue stick it's nothing special <laughs> Um, but I like it. It's usually it's very strong. You can see there that I can even use it to glue that piece of fabric right there and uh, it, it usually glues pretty well. So I have no issues with that one. So I like it. Um, but yeah, we are coming to an end to this video guys. Thank you so much. If you stay this far in the video, I appreciate you um, decorating this um, insert with me today. And uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you like videos like that, feel free to go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you here for the next videos. And uh, liking and subscribing to my channel really uh, helps to support my channel. So I really appreciate um, you staying here with me today. And uh, that's it for today. I'm just going to be adding a 2020 right there to the cover with my uh, jelly roll pen on number 10 just to indicate that's for the 2020 year and that that's about it all right guys thank you so much and uh, i'll see you next time bye